Section 10.1 in the book is, is labelled angles in all four quadrants and basically um, all it is is um, uh, summarising everything that's going on in the graphs of sine, cos and tan and, and a little diagram called a cast diagram it looks like this and this diagram can easily help us find um, all of the different solutions to a trig equation without having to draw the graphs. In the overview you saw we were trying to solve sine half or sine x equals a half and the way that we did it we were sort of drew that and said right that's a half or 0.5 and we said right those solutions there but interestingly enough when we did it the calculator only told us this answer here 30 but there are other answers now the nice thing about the graphs of sine cos and tan is that they're symmetrical they've got some symmetry and we can use that symmetry to help us find um, different values or different solutions so for example if you look at this this has a line of symmetry here yeah if I'm just looking at this first bit of the graph if I just look at this bit here in the box there's a line of symmetry down the middle so that means if this gap here is 30 degrees this gap here is also 30 degrees so I can easily work out what this other value is because if that's 180 if I do 180 minus 30 then actually um, that's going to be 150 yeah so already I can see that sine x equals a half then basically I've got x equals 30 which I got from the calculator by using the symmetry of the graph here I can say that x also equals 150 and I could do the same I can go backwards and forwards um, I can go I know this is 360 here that one so um, I can sort of keep going backwards and forwards and working out all these other solutions I could do the same if I had a graph which was um, trying to solve uh, let's say a graph or trying to solve a, a trig equation which was cos yeah and I can do um, a similar type of thing to help me solve the trig equations 